Hey, it's Anthony L. Ramos from Glad Javicia. So nice to see you. Um, this film is so fun. Something from Tiffany's um, holiday rom-com feels. But listen, you get to play, be a part of a Black queer couple, which I love, of course, alongside Jojo T. Gibbs. How cool is it for you to kind of get to do this project? Because, you know, we still don't see enough of our representation in this genre, so we'll take it. I like it. I feel like it all kind of came together in this beautiful way. Like, I was on hiatus from Batwoman, and I wanted to get, like, a good film in in between, at least two. And so this came across, and it's Hello Sunshine. I love Hello Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to work with Hello Sunshine, so that was already a plus. My character is queer, which most of my characters are, so that was already a plus. And, I love that, yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> And then it was Jojo. And I hadn't worked with Jojo, but I knew Jojo through friends. And so our first time meeting was during the um, chemistry read. And it was just really, really dope. We hit it off. Then as soon as we got to set, anyone that knows Jojo personally, she might be one of the funniest people you, you'll ever meet. And so it was just literally laughs and giggles the entire time. And then we finally would start bringing people into our jokes and stuff like that. So it was a really, really fun experience. Yeah, y'all definitely have a lot of chemistry. It was so fun to watch the two of you, but kind of set it up. So the two of you, I was thinking about it after watching the film. I was like, you two, your couple is actually like the strongest couple, at least when it starts, right? You're like the solid ones. Everyone else is kind of like, wait, what am I doing with my life? Yeah. Um, you know? I think what it is is that um, we've been together for a while now and we, we get each other and she does these like, you know, things that make no sense and are crazy and kooky, but I love her and I kind of like keep her grounded, but then I have my own ways as well. So it's like, we we really mesh, you know, really well together. But I think the great part sometimes when you have like uh, two women in a relationship is that you still have like these like feminine girly moments where it's like, Rachel, our Zoe's character, and then uh, Jojo and I's character coming together and just like having these like girly moments of like getting through relationships and giving each other advice and cheering each other on. The cool thing is also about the your two characters is, is that it's just, they're a unit, they're a couple. We see them just as they are. It's not like they're just meeting for the first time. They're not coming out. It's not that story. It's like, you know, they're just this, couple here they are they've got their little fun moments and you know their little fights here and there but it's, i love that yeah and they're they're married so it's yeah. like, they're solid <laughs> um do you have a favorite moment of making this film because it is so sweet like you said it's rom-com it's hello sunshine it's all the feels it's holiday it's new york it's all the things I think my favorite was the last scene in the movie where um, like there's like dancing because oh, because um, <laughs> because uh, we were really all of us were just kind of freestyling. It was just so much fun. So to have to keep redoing takes, having a blast, it made it so easy. And I think that was like the last scene that I shot for the movie. So the last scene of the movie was the last scene that I shot for the movie. So we just had a lot of fun with that. We also have this really cute, like at that time, there was a TikTok for Beyonce's song, um, when it's like, let the beat drop. And everybody yeah. does that. I'm gonna release that today. Cause we, we had a lot of fun on set. I love that. Um, do you own something from Tiffany's at this point? I have to know. I actually do. Um, I like to play instruments and my manager uh, or my team uh, bought me a, as a gift one time, bought me um, a Tiffany's harmonica. I love that, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, you know, I, as I was thinking, it's so important, like you said, that we have these queer stories. Um, and it's like, I, you know, I obviously, you know, wanted bat more Batwoman. I think we all did, and I know you did, but it's like, I feel like, especially with TV, we're in this moment where a lot of LGBTQ focused or inclusive programs are getting canceled. So, I mean, what's your take on that? And look, I mean, it's great that we've got this representation in this film, which of course is gonna be out for the world to see on Prime Video. I think that it's just an, it unfortunately is like a never ending journey, like a never ending force that we have to continue to go forward and, and push forward. Um, but I always say this, it's not just about hiring the actors that represent our queer community. I think it's about hiring queer storytellers because it's not just about, um, telling the story you want to tell it with authenticity and so that comes from having you know actual queer uh, and, and and just 
people of color and you know uh, our quote unquote minorities having those stories being written by the community that they come from I feel like that's going to help create and it's going to help push it forward and I think that it's going to be so authentic you're, you're going to fall in love with it you fall in love with what's real and when we tell our stories it's very real have you given any thought to what you would have liked to have seen with Batwoman if it continued on? And look, maybe it can still continue on in some way, you know, like, have you ever like thought about like what your hopes and dreams were for that? Well, I get to do The Flash. I just wrapped yeah. that. And in doing that, I got to do something that was one of my, one of my dreams. And so I you know, I, they're not letting me say anything yet, but... <laughs> something that I really, really wanted to do. So shout out to Eric Wallace for making that happen. But then um, I was also really interested in Ryan and Sophie's love story. Like I really wanted to see that go further because um, I feel like they're the definition of opposites attract. And it would have been really fun to see how their relationship would have played out throughout it. Um, and I'm a stunt person. So like I, I love stunts and to do more fun, different kinds of stunts, I would have loved to do that. How did playing Batwoman kind of change the way that you take on roles because it's i feel like once you play a superhero that's got to be kind of like a boost of confidence even taking you know into this film which obviously is a completely different project yeah i think you know coming from batwoman where it's not just about being a superhero but i'm leading the show so there's so much responsibility on my shoulders to then come onto something from tiffany's where i'm not it was like oh i get to just come in here and have fun and get out <laughs> like, yeah. like i didn't mind that um so it's like I, I, obviously I like both, but I like the balance of being able to do something like Batwoman where I can give every single piece of me, but then also come over and do something as fun and as unique as something from Tiffany's where it's like, oh, all I have to do is this. That's cool. Like, I'm here for that, you know? Totally. And look, I was thinking about this, like something from Tiffany's, I think, you know, it is rom-com, it is holiday, it's on Prime Video. I think there's going to be so many people that tune in just because they want that vibe. And then, you know what, there's a real opportunity for them to see, you know, your storyline with JoJo, maybe, you know, change some hearts and minds. What do you hope that people that see this film, you know, specifically with your storyline, what do you want them to take away from it? I, well, one, which you said earlier, like it's, I felt like this about my character in Batwoman too. It's like, we never had to go through this whole coming out story. We never yeah. had to go through this trauma of being who we are. And so um, with something from Tiffany's, you just get to see a healthy couple exist in, in this like really beautiful, cozy, you know, fun story. And I love rom-coms and I love holiday movies. And I think every actor's dream is to do one, but to do it in a way where it feels authentic and it feels like um, full. Like it doesn't feel like you're just checking a box. It feels like right. it's something that can last. Or how about this? It feels timeless. And I, yeah. when I watched this movie, I feel like all of our characters, I feel like the way it was shot, Daryl did such an amazing job directing it. I feel like it's just like a timeless classic. And Zoe is just so amazing in her, this yeah. movie. Like she's so charming and fun and Kendrick is amazing and Leah is amazing. And it's just, it's, a, it's to me a really beautiful film that I think anyone and everyone would like. And what I love about our characters, Jojo and I's characters, is that like it makes the film feel completely inclusive. It does. And listen, I mean, this is not a spoiler, but I had never wanted to eat a croissant more than after watching this movie. <laughs> What's not? She said it's a um oh, okay. yeah, it's like a it's like the sister of the croissant or something. It's a uh, we can't we have to say it right. What is it the I know. We'll uh, get it's not a croak. I know it's like something really well see that, that that alone will make people tune in to find out what the sister of the croissant. <laughs> Yes, yes. Um, but Javicia, it has been such a pleasure to catch up with you. And just a reminder, everyone, you can catch uh, something from Tiffany's. It is out now on Prime Video.